one of the things that Congress couldn't decide is who's a farmer. They they, they gave the job to you guys. They they punted. Bill, have you have you decided what a farmer is yet? I'm not sure that that. Uh, uh, you know, let me let me just put this in the proper perspective. I think basically, uh, what Congress had a difficult time uh, determining is when a non-farm family individual is actively engaged in farming enough so that they qualify uh, to participate in some of the safety net programs. Uh, this is a notion of actively engaged. Uh, who is actively engaged in terms of providing management responsibilities? Uh, this involves a very narrow uh, percentage of, of folks who are in the business of farming, primarily uh, limited partnerships, uh, general partnerships. It doesn't involve family farms. It doesn't involve family farm corporations. Uh, so our uh, expectation is that probably one to two percent or perhaps even fewer of the overall farmers are going to be impacted by however we define actively engaged. We're working through that process uh, and I think we have a pretty good handle on it. We're working it through the uh, regulatory process right now and I would anticipate and expect sometime uh, in 2015, uh, relatively shortly, we'll be coming out with how we define it and ask for, asking for comment on whether or not we've got it right or not. Um, you know, the, the reality is that this has been a loophole that has been, uh, been utilized by folks in partnerships uh, to allow for uh, many, many, many people to qualify as actively engaged when in fact they might be only engaged in a conference call or uh, in, in a very narrow sense uh, participating in the decision making in a farming operation. So we will close that loophole to the extent that we can, but Congress has uh, not given us a whole lot of room to do that. Well, uh, so can we expect uh, just in general sense that a lot of people that you know, perhaps never put foot in a farm, never, you know, never got muddy, never, never uh, sat in a tractor, that there could be quite a few people that uh, used to qualify that won't qualify? Well, I think you can expect us to have some uh, framework and some structure to this definition so it'll be more, it'll be easier uh, and more specific in terms of who qualifies. Uh, and I think you'll probably see a lot of folks who in the past had been in an office, say in a big city, uh, who had an interest in a farming operation for tax purposes may not get the benefits that they got before. In terms of how many people that is, uh, time will tell. But again, the vast, vast, vast majority of uh, farm families and farm corporations, are, they're not going to be impacted or affected by what we, what we propose because Congress has exempted them from uh, our definition. Still, can you save $100 million, a couple hundred million dollars, you think? Uh, I think it's too early to tell in terms of the savings. Um, I think that there are more critical issues in terms of the savings in the Farm Bill that are focused on how that safety net's going to uh, react and how, how we're going to deal with crop insurance in the future.